How's it going folks? This is Sean with Big Nerd Studios bringing y'all one of my first gear reviews. This particular amp from Yellow Rose Amps here in Oklahoma City is a prototype combo of the head that they are currently offering that is pretty unique from anything that I've seen before. This particular amp actually has two different preamp sections that have knobs for tone and volume and that's all you really need. Each side has a low input and a high input, and you can actually bridge the two like an old school four input Marshall, which is how I've got it set up right now. Um, I'm playing my custom Kiesel CT6 with beryllium and lithium pickups, and I've got it running through my Captor X from two notes, even though this particular amp has an Alnico Blue Jensen speaker. Any reverb that you're hearing is coming through the Captor because this particular amp being a prototype doesn't have the effects loop set up yet and I'm not a real big fan of putting reverb in the front. So as you can see right here, this is the RJC10 combo prototype. And it's literally just got one knob for tone and a couple of knobs for volume and that's it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. We've got both low input and high input for both channels. And as you can see, we can bridge them like an old school Marshall. As you can see here, we've got our 12AX7 side and our EF86 side. And really, the 12AX7 sounds like what you would expect and the EF86 sounds more Vox-ish. At least that's what I feel on my side whenever I'm playing this. The tone is more of an EQ curve than anything it's not like a tone knob on a guitar so the farther to the left towards zero you get the darker it does get the high is peaking a little lower and then as you turn it up highs and mids come in and your bass tends to go down a little bit so um yeah let me give you some tones that are fiddling with the knobs a little bit you can hear how the two different channels can be blended together and we'll just see what we can get out of this thing.
can hear when I turned up the 12AX7 side it's starting to break up like that old kind of classic Fendery early Marshall but if I turn up the EF86 side it's going to start giving us more of a Vox kind of like the 12AX7 a little bit better. Uh, to me, it sounds a little bit more chimey. Um, I've never really been a big fan of Vox, not because there's anything wrong with it. I just I just prefer the chiminess of a more American Fender-ish type of amp. <laughs> got some of that really low mid growl. Now I don't have any EQ pedals or um, any overdrive pedals. I do have um, an SP um, compressor sitting in front of it with just for some light control more so than anything.
Well, that's everything. I just wanted to show what this amp can do from a local Oklahoma builder. You don't really think about Oklahoma building amps. You more think of California, Nashville, Europe, Japan. A lot of that new hand, hand-wired, point-to-point stuff is coming out of Asia right now. But this thing is hand-wired, point-to-point, no frills, just tone and volume. And that's all you really need. Great pedal platform. Um, I've ran two or three different overdrives from this. And if you really gain stack this thing, you can get some really good classic 70s rock, rush, ACDC type stuff. Um, I put three in front of it and I was able to get some early Aussie. Now, granted, that's with my Horizons um, overdrive, my DNM drive, and my uh, Sparkle drive from TC Electronics. So it's not really what this amp was designed for, but I just wanted to push it to the limits and see what I could do. Um, but the sweet spot for this is really in that clean, early breakup pedal platform. Um, it's not super loud. I believe this one's 15, maybe 10 watts, somewhere around there. Um, but I bet you could probably get some more power out of it with some minor tweaks on the transformer and things of that nature. Want to give a big shout out for Yellow Rose Amps for letting me borrow this for as long as I've had it. Um, I'll, I promise I'll give it back to you. Um, anyways, this is Sean with Big Nerd Studios, and I want you all to have a, a great weekend and Happy New Year.